Well, it's taken a week or so, but our pretty sunsets are back. This is the view right now from Sky 5 in McAllen, looking off to the west. Sunset a few minutes ago, still some nice bright orange on the horizon. What a pretty night it is across the valley. But when it's clear like this, humidity's down like this, you know it's going to get pretty chilly out there, and indeed it will. Let's look at temperatures right now, and we'll see where we're headed. These are the currents already into the 50s in most of the valley. McAllen, Rio Grande City, Edinburgh still holding out at 60 plus, but everybody's going to cool off tonight. Look at our lows, 40s. Almost valley wide, a little warmer at the coast, a little cooler in the west, but clear skies, light winds, low dew points, temperatures already dropping quickly now that the sun has already set. We'll bounce back tomorrow to about where we were this afternoon, about 70 in McAllen, 68 in the mid valley, about 67 at the beach. East northeasterly winds tomorrow, about 5 to 10 miles an hour. No big air mass change from today to tomorrow, so it should end up at about the same place after starting. Pretty darn chilly first thing in the morning. Bounce back to 68 tomorrow. Some more clouds and maybe a shower Wednesday may keep us a little bit cooler. And then Thursday we start to push the clouds back out and we warm back up into the upper 70s, closer to normal for this time of year. Satellite not showing much today. It's been about as clear as it can be and should be that way most of the night. Little breezy, but the breeze goes away. And then tomorrow just partly to mostly sunny skies for most of the day. Then tomorrow night as we go into Wednesday, we start to see an increase in cloud cover and Wednesday could end up being just an overcast day. Showers likely to the south of us with a pretty decent possibility of a few of those showers sneaking into the valley as well as an upper disturbance makes its way in our direction. But notice even through Wednesday evening, it's just a lot of clouds. Again, a couple of showers, certainly a possibility. The latest run of the model holds some showers in here into Thursday as well before pushing things out of here. So we're keeping it at 40% for Wednesday and then leftover stuff on Thursday. Thursday early. We'll watch and see how that ends up panning out. On the big picture up in the northeast, that's where all the active weather is right now. You can see snow and rain and just a mess up there. But back in Texas, pretty quiet, just cold across the state as high pressure builds in. The next weather makers, the upper air low sitting off to the west. That kind of digs down into Mexico. This time of year, you see something like that come in this direction. If it was warmer and more humid, we'd be looking at thunderstorms, but it's not. So we're just looking at clouds and probably a few showers into Thursday. But by late Thursday, that low pulls away, takes the rain with it. We dry back out and we stay dry, it looks like then through the weekend and beyond. Maybe a few clouds, but not any big rainmakers after that system on Wednesday. If you're headed to the coast, here are your winds out of the northeast about 5 to 10. Just a light chop. The UV is moderate. Small craft operators urge to use caution. There's a high risk of rip currents. Your low tides in the morning, the high tide at 9.03 tomorrow night. So for us tonight, 41 for low, mainly clear. It will be chilly out there. Northerly winds about 4 to 8. Then tomorrow, back up to 68 degrees. Plenty of sunshine, but a cool day. Keep in mind, it starts in the 40s in the morning. A jacket required. By afternoon, still cool. It'll be warm in the car because the sun will warm the car up, but outside, it'll still be cool all day long. A little cooler on Wednesday because of the clouds and the scattered showers. Leftover early Thursday, maybe, but then after that, we're partly sunny most of the rest of the forecast period. T temperatures back up in the low 80s, back up above normal through the weekend into the first part of next week. That is your updated first one five forecast.